this session we'll have a look at the Accounts Receivable Reports. Now, the Accounts Receivable Reports will display the amounts owing to us from our customers. So they are a very valuable tool in our debt collection process. To display these reports, we go down to the report section at the bottom of our screen, click on the drop down arrow and select Sales Type Reports. Our Sales tab is highlighted and we have all our sales reports listed down the left hand side here. We can scroll down to see even more reports. We just want to have a look at our receivables reports and you can see that there are four different types of reports. Aging Summary, Aging Detail, Reconciliation Summary and Reconciliation Detail. When we click on these names on the right hand side it gives us a summary of what that report will display. So this one says for aging summary for each selected customer it displays single line with the customer's current balance followed by the aging of that balance. So what does that mean? Well let's have a look. Now when we select our report we need to click on the customize button down the bottom here and we can select our report for all our customers or our selected customers or we can make selections based on these custom list fields and importantly we need to look at the date here and type in the appropriate date aging method number of days since invoice date or we can select days overdue using invoice terms I'll leave that just as is and then to display the report we click on the display button and there it is, Age Receivable Summary. On the left hand side it displays our customer names and the total amount due. The following columns across are our aging columns. So 0 to 30 column means that these invoices are 0 to 30 days old. 31 to 60 days old, 61 to 90 days old, and over 90 days old. So if our credit terms are 30 days from the date of the invoice, any invoices in the 31 to plus 90 days are overdue. So we have a lot there in the overdue column of 90 plus days. We can have a look at the detail report. So we close out of there and go into the aging detail. Click on customize again, check those selections and display. This time we have AZ stationery supplies and then we're listed down here each of our outstanding invoices with their amount due. If we wanted to look at the detail of this invoice, what was this invoice made up of, we can move our cursor over the date or the invoice number and a magnifying glass comes up, which means we can drill down to that invoice. So click on that first one and look at that. Isn't that just amazing? Straight from our report we can drill down to our transaction window. So we can see exactly what was invoiced on that particular invoice click on OK and it takes us back to our report. So we can do that for any of invoices there. Now on our card file we have Charles as the contact person and his contact phone number. We're showing here our credit terms, so 2% 7 days, net 30. So they should have been paid within 30 days of the date of the invoice. We can ring up Charles and ask him why these haven't been paid. He may say he has no details of them. Can we send them in the mail? Well we can do one better than that. We can click on the invoice, tell him about the details and we can send it to him by email or fax. So while we're on the phone to him we can email it to him or fax it to him. Isn't that a great way to collect your debts? No more being fobbed off. If we select email, it creates
creates a little email window so it gives us the name of our customer their email address so az at aussiemail.com.au the invoice number and our company name so Clearwater please contact us immediately if you're unable to detach or download your invoice thank you now what that means is that it'll send this email message and it'll attach our invoice to it as a PDF file so all he has to do is double click on that PDF file it will open up and he can print it now the format of the printout will be MYB's plain paper invoice because that's the selection here or we can click on the drop down arrow and select one of our other invoice formats click on send it comes up with a little message window just warning us that we're trying to send an email from this program do we really want to do this or not and yes we do it's not a virus at all so click on yes and then that's dropped into our Outlook or Outlook Express software if I just click on cancel there and close there close goes back to our main command center let's go into our Outlook and see what's in there so here we are in Outlook in our Outbox we have a message there it is if I double click on that we can see our message and our PDF file being our invoice format if I double click on that there's our invoice and we can scroll down there in our PDF document so that is ready to be sent from Outlook So that concludes our look at the Accounts Receivable Reports.